What is up, everybody? It's uh, February 2nd, 2019, 12.55 in the morning, 36 degrees. Um, we are getting some light rain. However, it's picking up now, and I have a feeling if we go to the dam, it's going to turn to snow. So I'm really hoping um, that I am guessing right. Because it's getting late and I'm really tired, but this is what I do. I love doing this for you guys, man. Yeah, well, we made that light. Good, good, good. Das ist gut. So, I hope, uh, I'm gonna turn on my brights again now. All right, so. still still rain however however did I just see a snowflake you know what you guys I think we're starting to get a little snow now mixed in uh, oh yeah we are getting a little snow mixed in I thought I thought snowflake. I did, I did. <laughs> <coughs> Vape pen. sucks at nighttime you guys because you can't see as well I know I know I feel for you you know what? we're gonna take some of these back streets through the town so I can have my brights on the whole time because it really sucks without the brights at night I want you guys to be able to see something so look at this asshole oh excuse me he just fired up a bowl right there the guy is smoking a bowl in the lane parked. I am not kidding. I am not kidding. I just drove by kind of mad dogging him. Like, why are you just in that lane right there? And uh, yeah, I don't know what, what the deal is, man. He was smoking a bowl. He was not lighting something like a, a cigarette or a cigar. He was smoking a bowl. Unbelievable, dude. In the middle of the lane. I mean, what the hell is going on, man? What the hell is going on? I should call the police, man, because that's that's crazy, dude. Like, I mean, the, you guys saw that, right? It was the car that was like, looked like he was making a right on to Big Bear Boulevard and was already mostly on the boulevard. Dude, what the hell was that, bro? Anyway, anyway, sorry. I don't mean to be a pain. All right, here's Pennsylvania. Now the temp went back up to 37, and it's mostly rain again. This is really weird, you guys. I know if I went up to Onyx Summit right now, we'd be getting plenty of snow. I know that for a fact. There's my friend Mike, but I'm sure they're asleep right now. At least they, yeah, it looks like they're asleep. Because I was going to invite him with me to go on this, this drive with me. cat man the guy is amazing at jujitsu and uh he used to be like uh quentin rampage's manager well not like manager like like that but like uh for the gym and stuff and uh he's really good friends with tony ferguson um every time tony comes up here mike goes and chills with him and um he and he and tony ferguson are considering opening a gym up here for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I, I'm talking about mixed martial artists. And uh, those are who a lot of my friends are, are fighters. Um, and sometimes I ask myself, why is that? Um, and I'm wondering if, you know, because it's, it's that's who I wanna be. 
I want to be a fighter. You know, that's why I, I took some MMA and did Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And I stopped a couple months ago because my business really skyrocketed and I just did, I didn't have any time. But I got to get back into it, man. BJJ is just amazing, you guys. It's amazing. It's amazing for your soul. It's amazing for everything. It's good stuff. Okay, so we're in the village, as you guys can see. Anyway, yeah, Mike's cool. Cool as hell, man. I just took a look over there at Murray's. It looked pretty packed. Okay, so we're hardly getting anything now. Man, I need to get another iPhone so I can use this iPhone just for the camera. Because my GoPro right now is doing the time lapse from two days ago until now, and it's gonna do the time lapse all the way till next Tuesday. But this time I sped up the frames per second, so it's not gonna be as long, because the last time lapse, which was still beautiful, was like 20 minutes, like, or, or maybe longer. So for five or six days worth, I wanted to try to, to have it at like maximum 10 minutes, which is still a long time. Like probably three or four minutes at the most is probably perfect for that much. But I'm still learning how to do this. And um, if it seems like I could speed up the frames per second in the time lapse setting, I'll do it. And uh, we'll do it faster. But, you know, I'm working on it, guys. I'm trying to do the best I can for you. I'm trying to do the best I can. Six degrees, one oh three AM. Groundhog Day. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go home and flip through the channels after this because I bet Groundhog Day is gonna be on. I love that movie. Love that movie. Love Bill Murray, man. bad they don't make movies like they used to, you know? Like Caddyshack and all those types of movies. Such a bummer. Okay, it's 35 degrees. Wow, at the start of the drive there was a couple snow there were a couple snowflakes that hadn't mixed in. to see if I'm right about these things, you know? Now it's 36 again. Come on, you bastard.
35 again. All right, guys, fingers crossed. Before we get to the dam, we get some snow. Hopefully we get some damn snow before we get to the damn dam. Six, I should say. To be exact. So we're going 37 miles an hour. And look, what do we have here? Actually, that really is a, a pretty view. Look at the road, dude. We're getting a couple snowflakes. Ah ha! I, oh, almost cussed. I was right, man. I was right. Knock on wood. Hey, come on. Please turn more to snow. Don't make me look like a schmuck in front of my peeps. Mother Nature. Yep. Let's see. You guys can see it's a little bit of white on the road, right? Oh, uh, yep. We're getting snow. Yay. It's more like a, sl like a sleety. 34 degrees. And foggy as a mug. As a mug. That's the only reason why I have the brights on. Well, for you guys to see. Otherwise, I wouldn't be having the brights on so I can see better. But I want you guys to be able to see through the camera with the brights. And yeah, it's very, very light snow. But obviously... It's been snowing over here a little bit more. Very cool, guys. Very, very cool. So it still is a mixed bag, but I am seeing more snowflakes coming down with my naked eye. Yeah, look at this, man. They already got a, a little blast over here of some snow. Very cool. So I know what's gonna happen is when I get back home, when the video's done, it's gonna start to really snow and then I'm gonna have to upload this video and then I'm gonna have to go make another video. And then when I get home from that video, it's going to be like a blizzard. And I'm going to be like, oh my God, it's five in the morning. But you know what? I still got to do this. I can sleep when I'm dead. Oh, look at these people, my friend. Oh, that's a big ass rock. Don't hit it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting a little snow right now. Let me stick my hand up on those to make sure. Yeah, it's kind of an, an icy, icy bit. So this is the part of town that typically gets the heaviest amounts of snow. And the precipitation is coming down pretty good right here. Thirty-four degrees. Now we're gonna head. Wow, I can see the lights for Snow Valley way over there.
So we're entering the fawn skin area on this side of the lake. This is Highway 38. It's really coming down over here and it's a total mixed bag it's like rain snow and sleet it looks like diamonds falling from the sky is actually what it looks like it's really really pretty in in the lights but my goal guys is to really have a hard time driving in the snow test this bad boy out see how this car really 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 goes in, in decent snow so hopefully this this will be it because we're, we're running out of time guys we're running out of time for like the big storms the good thing about really big storms in, in, in like March and, and whatnot that bring a lot of snow March and April that can bring like a foot plus of snow is that the snow melts fairly fast which I like because by that point of the season I'm getting ready for some heat you know <laughs> um, yeah but yeah you know what I'm gonna have to withdraw my snow statement because honestly I think this is like mostly mostly rain to tell you the truth it's 34 degrees though Five degrees. Seriously, I'm just waiting for these whiteout conditions, man. This is joking, man. This is joking. Six degrees, all rain. If this goes up to thirty seven before we get home, I'm just going to drive my car into the lake. Done with it. <laughs> we'll call it our chapel quitting, but there's no 
there's no one with me and I'm not named Kennedy. <coughs> okay, so in fawn skin, when you see the 25 mile an hour speed limit, you don't want to blow through that. Or you don't want to go faster than that speed limit. You want to maintain about 25 miles an hour. I wish I lived closer to my mom. I wish she lived over here with me. Missing her right now. So I mean, it's it's, it's drizzling pretty good. You know, it's, it's actually a little heavier than a drizzle. But at least we saw some snow, right? Some new snow on this drive. Otherwise, it's been pretty lackluster. Assuming the further we go back towards the house, it's going to be coming down more and more because uh, closer to the house, it was actually raining heavier. So what we saw, the snow that we saw over by the dam, that part had is what was probably hitting us, but with rain over by, by my house. Same elevation, nothing different. To you, it's dumping up at Onyx Summit. I'll tell you what, though, I enjoy driving without any other cars on the road. Oops, as I say that, there's a car on the road. It's a tow truck, we're good. So we're on North Shore now.
still 36 degrees. It's 121 in the morning. almost 30 minutes okay so it takes a little over 30 minutes to drive from my house down to the dam and back around just to Stanfield cutoff and back to my house just over 30 minutes Another thing came up and said snow will begin around 1.47 a.m. But the funny thing is is that it thinks it's already snowing. Um, because when I left, you know, it, it, it was raining a little bit and then I, I checked the Weather Channel app and it said it's snowing. I'm not thinking, no, it's not, <laughs> but whatever. And then I thought we'd take a drive to the dam because there might be a chance of that happening there. Stanfield cutoff. Still 36 guys, 125 on the dot. We've been doing this video for 20 or 30 minutes on the dot right now. <clears throat> right here is where I hit the propane tank the other night in my brand new car it busted up the front left side of the car if you guys can believe it I am so freaking pissed 
Yeah, some asshole's propane tank fell out of the truck or their car. Well, I'm assuming it's a truck. Um, and uh, I ran into it at nighttime. Didn't see it until the last second. And I ducked in cover because I, as soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. And I, it, it was just, there was just no, no time to react after that. And I just ducked down thinking it was going to explode when I hit it. And uh, thankfully it didn't. It just went flying. The thing went flying across the street. It was insane. Anyway, guys, peace out. This is what's going on in Big Bear. We saw a tiny bit of snow right there, but it's, it's mostly rain. Peace out.